Hey guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial series, we're going to go through the if statement. And this is kind of the introduction to deci decision making for you guys as programs. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by um, establishing a few variables, well just one actually, and we're also going to call, we're going to have the user function with this program. So it makes it a little bit more interactive. So we're going to prompt them and ask them for their Jedi rank. And in this case, Jedi rank. And then we're also going to allow them to input that. So we're going to use the scan up fun function there. And we're just going to be pulling in the integer value and then assigning it to our Jedi rank variable that we established up there. Okay, so pretty simple like we did in the pre previous tutorials. Now we're going to get into the if statement. And the if statement is essentially it's if and then there's going to be an expression built in here and then after the expression we're going to write a program statement and then a semicolon at the end so this is going to be like if it's raining outside I'm going to wear a raincoat that's going to be my action or my statement that I'm going to tell my program to do now if it isn't raining outside my program's just going to move on it's not even going to see this program statement so that's what the if statement does so it's if this is true we're going to execute this program statement here or this code or this action whatever it is and so we're going to use a comparative expression here and let me get this out of here we'll just delete that whole thing so we're going to we're going to compare our jedi rank so let's use jedi rank so if the jedi rank and in this case we're just going to put a double equals so that's going to say like if the jedi rank is equivalent to blank which now let's say a hundred now if you remember right a hundred is equivalent to the Jedi Master which is what we're going for then we're simply gonna write on the screen you have achieved uh, Jedi Master status nice nice alright so our program essentially is gonna is gonna tell the user if they've achieved this status if the Jedi rank is equal to a hundred okay so if they put in 90, nothing's going to happen. Let's go ahead and run it, make sure it works. So we're prompted with enter you Jedi rank. We're going to put in 90, hit enter, and we get nothing because we haven't told our program to do anything except for if the user puts in 100. So let's run the program again. Let's put in 100, return, and it prints on the screen. You have achieved Jedi Master status. All right, so you kind of see how that's going so far. So now let's put in another if statement. We'll put like if Jedi rank. Wow, I can't do anything. And I'm going to use another comparative or relational operator, and that, well, that's going to be greater than. So if it's greater than 100, so that means it's going to be 101, 102, all the way up to infinity. If it's greater than 100, we're going to print on the screen, you are awesome. You are one, one awesome. All right, you got to put that in. Jedi Master. All right, and so let's go ahead and run this. Let's put in 100. You have achieved Jedi Master status. Let's put in 101. You are one awesome Jedi Master. All right, and then same thing. We put in 500. You are one awesome Jedi Master. Because anything, any value greater than 100 is going to get this statement. Any value that's equivalent to 100, you're going to get this statement. So let's do one more um, operator and Jedi rank is I don't know, less than 100. Our program is going to print to the screen and say something like, keep going sucker. Alright, so now we're going to run that and we're going to put in 99. And the program is going to be like, keep going, sucker. You're almost there. You're almost to the Jedi Master status. Let's run it again. Let's put in one. Keep going, sucker. you got a long ways to go, but keep going. All right, so that's kind of the basics to the if statement. Obviously, we introduced two new things in this one, the if statement and also these comparative or relational um, operators, the equals to, also the greater than, the less than, and we'll get into more details about those in future tutorials. But anyways, that's kind of the start to the decision making in your programs. Definitely is going to make your programs a lot more robust and sweet looking as we develop out. So we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Later.